thought, oh, this baby, he come fuck with me. This nigga going to get knocked out, baby. You know what I'm saying? So you, you better, you know, go ahead and fight Errol Smith Jr. You know what I'm saying? You tricked him out of the money. But we got to address these lies, man, because you be lying you know, all the time, nigga. And he really needs to stop doing interviews because what he need to do is stop doing interviews, shut the fuck up. And go on out there and get his ass knocked out by EJ. Because that's what's going to happen to him. Because uh, EJ is man down. Big fish, baby. You know what I'm saying? We knock our artists out. We just bad. don't talk about no rematches. Because, you know, he's going to be too fucked up. You know what I'm saying? After the fight. They even got there and even try to get a rematch. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. We the bash boys out here. You know? He, he don't want to see me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to knock our artists, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait for that day because somebody need somebody need to tell Crawford, man, that, you know, he ain't that good, man. You know, somebody need to tell him that he only fought B-level fighters. They act like he fought like real niggas out there, man. And me and EJ, we out here fighting real niggas, man. We we killing the, the monsters. So we're going to see what's going to happen on, tw on July 29th. Now you got to... Now you got to put your money where your mouth is. You know, you, you don't cash your check that your ass can't cash. So, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, little bro going to knock all your teeth out. And that's what it is. When you really think about it, man, they ain't got no swag in Omaha. You know, they never seen nothing like this shit out here in Texas. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know he be fronting on us and everything about where we from and all that. But look where he from, man. Land of the coin. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing out there, bro. You, you can see that the man, him and Shakur, they be doing lame shit like wrestling people. You know what I'm saying? Be all rolling around with nigga nuts all over in the head and all that stuff. See, that's the kind of shit they do out there in Omaha. You know what I'm saying? They like that white boy wrestling shit, that WWE shit. No, man, we ain't doing man down. You know what it is, man. We're going to break Crawford ass, man. I know he be lying in the interviews and, you know, he took me for my money, you know what I'm saying? Holding the WBO for ransom. So we're going to beat that out of his ass, too. I'm going to get all of that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga do be lying, man. That dude, that nigga be telling a lot of lies, man. That, 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 you know, Bud too light in the ass, you know. He just don't want to accept that he light in the ass. He don't want to accept that he number two. And, um, but, you know, he going to learn on July 29th what a real one-sided ass beating look like. You know what I'm saying? Man down. You know, her mama said that, uh, he used to, she used to say, you know, get $10 if you could whip her son ass. Well, I'm coming for that money, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get paid on July 29th, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get that $10, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, especially with a bullet respectful, you know, like on some real nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, I gave him the ice grill, you know, I'm like, he seen the real nigga shit. I showed him that killer side and, you know what I'm saying, nigga been nice ever since, you know. um, You know, he know what time it is. He know what he faced. Well, Bud know I ain't in Dongo. He know I'm not Green Machine, and I damn sure ain't Postal. So he already know that I'm coming for that ass on July 29th. So he trying to calm shit down. So, you know, maybe he'll probably drop in three rounds, something like that. And, you know, I, you know, to tell you the truth, they talk a lot of shit, man. I, 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 I really do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? They call me all kind of shit when I got into the car crash. And, you know, now I'm going to have to release that fury on July 29th. You know, they say hurt people, hurt people. I mean, I, I know they caught and burned up biscuit when he was a kid, but you know what I'm saying? Now nah, I'm hurt and I got to go beat his ass for it. And all the shit they said about me when I came out of my car crash. And, you know, now you see, I ain't the one to call somebody name, call them burned up biscuit. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a kid. I just would have beat his ass, you know. But, you know, it, that's in the black community. It's like that. You know, you got to have thick skin and you can't run your life on some hurt shit. You know? Like on July 29th, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going out there, you know what I'm saying, and let it all loose. And, um, you know what I'm saying, this man down all day, every day, you know what I'm saying? He going to learn what it is to not talk shit over five years. And I'm going to show him, you know. I mean, I just keep it all the way a thousand with you, man. You know, Crawford look like, he look like he's 45, man. You know, the way his hair receding on the side, like the back symbol. You know what I'm saying? Look like he fuck old chicks, you know what I'm saying? Like, look like that's all he can get, you know what I'm saying? Even though. I mean, since his hair growed out and, you know, he looking like Lamont Sanford. I mean, I see why he keep hair low because he looked younger when he got his hair low. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, really, the, the nigga look like Ugas, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do him like Ugas, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show him. I'm going to bust him. And really why I'm going to punch him. Really why I'm going to punch him. Because he kept me at 147 as long as I want to be. And um, I just thought that was some straight fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, thought, I thought that was real weak. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get it all back on July 29th when I go. I mean, if you know, you, you never see Crawford by itself. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like Batman, man, baby. You know what I'm saying? I roll alone. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't need no backup. He always got an entourage you got to show out for. But, you know, but when you get him by itself, you don't act like that. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, baby, on July 29th, I'm going to get me some ribs in uh, Las Vegas, you know, and he know I'm coming. Uh, he know how, you know, he seen me, you know, he seen me how I look, you know what I'm saying, in the gym. He see how I get down, and, you know, he don't want to end up looking like Uga. So what y'all can expect is straight destruction. You know what I'm saying? July 29th, I mean, he's going to take a serious ass whipping. He's going to take a serious beat. We're going to take some of them ribs, and we're going to take that eye bone to the car so we can show everybody back in Texas, you know what I'm saying, what they're done to him. And, you know,